Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm up in the studio, and Stephen is in for a visit, and he did bring a case of Foster's. So uh, you guys are waiting for your Foster's pots. Uh, those will go out tomorrow. Now, right now, uh, a little earlier, we baked a biscuit, a Bisquick uh, garlic cheese biscuit, heavy on the garlic, and that's sitting here going through the last 10 minutes. And right now I'm going to make uh, salmon chowder. Now, I've got a prototype <coughs> stove here that's uh, really small, carbon felt. It's basically a very small uh, cab eight, number eight. Uh, but, it's, but it burns for 15 minutes and it works pretty good. I've been playing around with it here this morning. And I'm going to heat the milk and water up with that to make my salmon chowder. And I always over prime this every time. Part of the deal. Okay, so uh, we've got to have, I've got uh, my third of a cup of powdered milk here. And we're going to have a cup of water. Which I can feel easily get. There we go. Okay. Put that in there. And work. Okay, we'll get this milk somewhere near mixed up here. And get her on the heat. And get that going. Now, uh, this stove is something that came up in a dream last night, and I almost got up and went out to the factory and built it, but I held off till this morning and went out and built a couple of them. I gave one to Stephen, and I've got the other one. Uh, and they have the cap that goes on, so you can fill them up, cap them, they're full of carbon felt, just like the Cab 8, so there's no, uh, no spillage or anything. You can carry it right in your pack. I think it'd be a really good choice for an emergency kit, uh, actually, uh, as hard as it may be to believe, these are hot enough to actually use as a primary uh, heat source if you're backpacking, and they'll fit right in your mouth. So they are definitely choke hazard size. So, uh, I'm going to keep working on this until I get this up to temperature, and then I'll turn the camera back on and we'll finish up. Okay, my uh, milk is up to temperature. Now I'm using uh, Carnation Instant Milk and water, obviously. And this is right to the point now where it's just starting to boil. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the stove out and just take the milk here. And I'm going to put a little parquet in with it to add a little body to it. Come on. There we go. And then I have an envelope of uh, salmon here. Wild Alaskan salmon. It's uh, three ounces. And I'm going to try to get that out of the package and get that in there as well. And the boiling water will heat this up uh, quite nicely. No need to heat it anymore. And we'll just have a nice salmon chowder here. And while that's warming up, we'll check on the biscuits and see what we've got. And then we'll have a meal. And that's a good thing. There we go. Okay, break this up a little bit. Get this going in here. Ooh, yeah. That's, uh, that smells good. And it looks good. Okay, so we've got salmon chowder, and now let's see how the biscuit comes out. This was kind of dicey. We weren't sure exactly how this was going to work out, so we just um, we just did it. We guessed at the time. It looks about right. So uh, this has been setting for ten minutes, and look at that. Oh, all right, what's not to like? Beautiful biscuit. So, I guess the only thing left to do here is to split this into two batches, and Stephen and I are going to um, sample the fine cuisine. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Biscuit's good. Sure is. You're out on the trail. This will be just amazing. This is good stuff. I'm Timmy from Mabel Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.